For Sailing to Babylon by James Pollock. In his citation for Sailing to Babylon, Griffin Poetry Prize judge Mark Doty thoughtfully observes, The sentence in James Pollock's remarkably assured debut volume is a unit of music and of time, a carefully modulated choreography that moves the reader through an elegantly constructed set of meditations on place and history and the education of the self, a self we come to know, in part, through the poet's evocation of a rich company of tutelary spirits, Glenn Gould and Northrop Fry, Henry Hudson and C.P. Cavoffi. Quietly confident, formally adept, assured in their music, these artful lyrics are not only an accomplishment in themselves, but promise to register, as the poet says, the breaking changes of a life to come. This next poem is, it's about an object. Uh, when my father died, he uh, passed on to me uh, his mother's Bible. And my mother, I mean, my, my, um, my father grew up in southwestern Manitoba on a farm during the Dust Bowl, uh, the Depression of the 1930s. And his father was a Jehovah's Witness and his mother was, was a Methodist, and they had seven kids. And his memory, one of his most vivid memories of his childhood is of his parents arguing ferociously uh, over the meaning of the book of Revelation. So, so that was in my mind. The, the poem is not about that, but it's about the Bible that they used to fight over. So what a great inheritance for a poet. But this is about the Bible itself. My grandmother's Bible, Mary, M Mary Pollock, nay McConnell, 1887 to 1959. The shape, the heft of a shovel full of sod, a sheaf of God, its soft worn pebbled grain of supple Levant Morocco. Two rips yawn along the spine two inches long, a strip of leathers lacking at the top. The pages inked in foxed and well-thumbed red along the four edges like a thousand lips are gilded on heads and tails, the gilt half faded. Out of the biblical plagues of the 1930s, black storms of dust, vast ravening clouds of grasshoppers, comes this blasted smoking heirloom, a nut brown flap of torn and weathered leather wrapping a slab of paper. Its English plunges into my heart like a small, black bird. <laughs> 